Hey guys, it's me again. Just wanted to take a few minutes today to show you how to build a chicken watering system for your coop. So the chicken watering system that I'm going to be using is going to incorporate these drinking cups from Rent-A-Coop. So they have a plastic cup and there's a valve assembly in here. And as the cup is emptied, so the chickens drink the water, the cup gets empty and it springs up opening the valve, allowing water to fill back up. The weight of the water actually lowers the cup down and closes the valve off. It's got a threaded connection on the back here. So I'm just going to be drilling into some PVC pipe and screwing that in. It comes with a little uh, rubber washer and that creates a leak-free seal. You can actually use these on buckets and if you're using it on a bucket, then it comes with a little plastic wing nut that you would put on the inside of the bucket to hold it secure. But when you're drilling into the PVC pipe, you don't actually need the wing nut. Here's what you're gonna need to get started. Something to measure with, a rag, some something to cut your PVC pipe with, your watering cups, your PVC fittings, a 3 8 inch drill bit, something to mark with, a drill, and of course, PVC pipe. To begin, you need to find the center of all of your caps. So I measure across the distance, split it in half, mark a line, rotate it 90 degrees, and mark another line. Where those two lines intersect is the center of the cap. This is where we will drill our hole. Now it's time to drill out our holes. First, you want to chuck up a 3 8 inch drill bit into your drill. Then, Clamp the cap into a vise to keep it from spinning while you drill it out. Make sure you drill all four of them. Once you've got your holes drilled, now it's time to thread the cups into the holes. It might take a little pressure to get it going, but they should thread in easily. Next, we'll measure and cut our PVC pipe. First thing you want to do is start with a fitting on the end. I want 12 inches in between my cups, so I'm going to measure out center to center between the two fittings 12 inches. Be sure when you mark your length that you take into account the amount of pipe that will slip into the fitting. Since both end pieces are going to be the same, you can repeat the process and cut the other one to make it identical. Now that we have our two end pieces cut, we want to cut the section that goes into the center. But we have to take into account the T that will feed the water to the header. So keeping 12 inches center to center, we will make this first pipe 6 inches center to center. So we'll mark it, cut it, and then use that as a guide to cut the second piece. Now that we have all of our pieces cut, we can assemble the header to check for measurement and fit. Now we have all of our pieces together. You can see what your header is going to look like. We haven't glued anything yet in case we want to make any changes. The last step of the fit up is to screw in our cups and make sure everything fits the way we want it to. Once we get all of the cups lined up, the way we want it, we can disassemble the whole header and glue all of the fittings and then screw the cups back on. Be sure to use some Teflon tape when you screw the caps into the PVC fittings. So here's the header for the watering system. It's all glued together and installed. You can see I secured it to the 2x4 using some conduit clamps here. And I just plumbed it out the back. And it comes up here to the rain barrel.
All I did was take this 55 gallon drum and drill a hole out here and put a bulkhead fitting in. And then on the top, I've cut out a hole and put my flex hose in from the gutter. And I ran a gutter system up here. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give us the thumbs up and leave your comments below. Also, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on anything. And while you're there, go ahead and check out some of our other videos. You can also follow along on Instagram at Redbeard Homestead.